first up is a 50 capacity bottling tree and a bottle rinser. You'll also need some sodium percarbonate for cleaning, some chem sand for sanitising, a sponge or cloth but no scour, um, some washing up gloves and some safety glasses. This video primarily is going to be showing you how to clean these Guelph style glass bottles but the principle is the same whether you're using them plastic pet bottles, uh, the crown cap bottles, it's all the same. Make up a solution of 5 grams of sodium percarbonate and 1 litre of hot water in a bowl. Make sure it's thoroughly dissolved. Use your sponge or cloth but no scour and give your uh, bottling tree a good old clean. Then leave for 15 to 30 minutes. If you haven't already got a spray bottle of chem sand to hand, make up 2 ml of chem sand to 1 litre of cold water in your spray bottle. Then give your bottling tree a good old spray. In a jug add 1 litre of cold water and 2 ml of chem sand. Take the seals off your bottles and put all the seals into a bowl and pour enough of the chem sand solution to cover it. If you're using crown cap or the plastic lids you can put them in the solution. Just remember to keep the rest of the solution as we'll be using this later. If your bottles are brand new, just wash them out with some hot water first. If you've already used them, wash them immediately after use. This will save a lot of hassle later on. <laughs> this step also applies to plastic bottles, just make sure the water's not too hot. Get your bottling tree and bottle rinser ready, but put your bottle rinser in a tray, etc., just to catch any spillages. Chem sand spray bottle, squirt all of your bottle rinser. Now to make life a lot easier and quicker, unclasp all of your swing top bottles. Now with the chem sand solution from earlier, pour it into your bottle drainer and fill it to the bottom white mark. Turning your bowls upside down, making sure the clasp and the lid are facing downwards. Plunge down onto the bottle drainer two or three times. Start to fill your bottle tree up from the bottom upwards until you've got enough bottles for your batch. 